This is morning prayer on Monday, July the 13th, uh, and this is in the style of the Northumbria community. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek Him One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek Him. Is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek Him with all your heart? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek Him with all your soul? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you seek Him with all your strength? Amen, Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life And we have believed and have come to know That you are the Holy One of God Together To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life And we have believed and have come to know That you are the Holy One of God To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And so we come to our readings. And uh, typically in Northumbria Community Meditations, the readings are shorter and we leave a time of silence after each reading. Firstly, from Psalm 124, verses 6 to 8. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And from Isaiah 42, verses 18 to 21. 
Listen, you that are deaf and you that are blind, look up and see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf like my messenger whom I send? Who is blind like my dedicated one, or blind like the servant of the Lord? He sees many things, but does not observe them. His ears are open, but he does not hear. The Lord was pleased for the sake of his righteousness to magnify his teaching and make it glorious. And from Revelation chapter 12, starting at the seventh verse. And as war broke out in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before God. But they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they did not cling to life even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens, and those who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. And our reading uh, today is uh, taken from the Northumbria community Aden readings, uh, and uh, they are concentrating on a particular location, this one being Coventry. Coventry Cathedral was very badly damaged by bombing in World War II, and the ruins now stand alongside the beautiful modern cathedral that draws so many visitors to wonder at it. It has many remarkable features, stained glass windows, a twisted cross of metal. But on the outside wall is the amazing sculpture of Michael the Archangel subduing the fallen Lucifer. And uh, words of a song by Bill Davidson. Satan, in case you want me, then you will find me in the presence of God. And in that presence you cannot follow because I'll be resting in the Spirit of God, and there is no fellowship twixt darkness and light, and there is no compromise twixt wrong and right. I'm going to keep my life bright. Satan, you're not forgotten. We're out to get you, so tell me, how does it feel? Have you seen Coventry at the cathedral? There is an angel, and you are under his heel. So we now come to our prayers and in line with the prayers from the Northumbria community we follow a fourfold pattern and firstly uh, we pray for uh, people that we know, friends or others in need or just uh, people that uh, come to our mind so let us recall one, two or three people and let us pray for them in the silence as we are led. Amen. And secondly, we pray for the streets surrounding uh, our house where we live. And uh, let us recall one uh, street or maybe two. And let us uh, pray 
for the people in that street. Let us pray a blessing over the street. Thirdly, we pray for the world and we recall one situation in particular that we have uh, locked into and uh, we pray for that situation, uh, pray for healing, uh, pray for God's kingdom to come in that situation. And finally, we pray for ourselves. Uh, we pray for the yearnings of our own heart. And we pray in line with that yearning in the silence now. Amen. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Christ as a light Illumine and guide me Christ as a shield Overshadow me Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and me yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, As a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me on my left and my right. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you. Wherever he may send you, may he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm, may he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you, may he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. 
peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.